My name's Al Danjo, I've been here for four and a half years. These are instructive. This is my colleague, Mr. Mullen. Go ahead, Mr. Mullen. <laughs> I'm Brian Mullen. I've been here at Rosedale for about eight and a half years. A mm -hmm. um, couple different roles in Rosedale since I've been here. Started off in the toll room and went into teaching just in the evening. Started off part time. Um, now I'm teaching full time during the day. Um, kind of all over the place here in the evenings, here during the day. So if you come in, you'll see me day or night. <laughs> for me, I, I grew up with just backyard mechanic. Um, it was weird. I was in printing for eight years right out of high school. Then no one ever knew that one. And then I got laid off and all I knew was backyard mechanic. I knew I could change brakes, all that stuff. And I got into uh, Laidlaw at the time where I met Big Al at Laidlaw. And uh, that's where my, my career took off turning wrenches, actually. So. Yeah, mine started in a uh, neighbor's garage helping him in the evenings and when I wasn't in high school. Um, it just progressed after that. I went to college and then I started this. Doing this, I've been doing this for 42 years now, and uh, I've had a lot of different uh, people that I've helped over the years. Um, needless to say, Mr. <laughs> Mullen is one of them. I helped him when he It's a constant started. help. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a trip that is unforgettable for one. You know, all these different times that we've done. How I get into this, um, I did go into cars, I get into laid long. We started working on buses, mostly transit buses, because I went into the public transportation side, more to the school side, school buses, but I also work on school buses, have done for 40 years also. Um, but I also have some of my own equipment, I run heavy equipment, and I get into heavy equipment because I have my own. So a lot of that I had to learn to fix myself, so it kind of intrigued me of how some of these things work. For me. I just continued on and, and put it into my everyday work ethics with other places that I've been, and then I also work for myself. So, um, for one thing, it made a living for me also. So that makes a big difference there. So as far as a big project for me, um, at Rosedale here, we installed a CNG kit on a CDL truck. Uh, CNG is compressed natural gas. Um, the students got really involved in it. We had to fabricate some brackets, uh, relocate some stuff. It worked out pretty good. And they still use the truck today up in the CDL lot. In our diesel program here, um, what we, what I see a lot that you don't see in other places is we do a lot of hands-on here. Um, on those, you get the theory, but you also get to actually perform what we learned in theory. And I think that definitely enhances your schooling here because you can actually apply that to what we talk about in theory. So that's, um, this program seems to be a lot um, more hands-on than a lot of other places that I've seen. Yeah, so, us as mechanics we learn with our hands-on. Um, right. So you're learning, learning a lot more hands-on. We, we can talk in a classroom all day on some theory and learn it that way, but a lot of people like I said, us mechanics, gear, gear, gearheads, we learn hands-on. Um, so we'll come out in the shop and That's great when you, there. when you see a student that you go through theory and he has no idea what you're talking about. Then when you come out in here and we actually do the hands-on um, and it just clicks. Yeah, you, so, see, you see a light oh bulb go Oh my goodness, up. you know, this, uh, this is what we just talked about. You know, so that makes a big difference also. One of the things I like about our diesel program um, the degree program, you have a chance to get your CDL license. Um, you can come out with a state inspection license also, and you also come out with a degree which you have more than some of the people that, that are already out in the field um, that we're seeing. Some, some of the people we work with that did not have a CDL, so you have a chance to get your CDL. Um, you learn some hydraulics. Um, you get pretty well rounded and we have live work come in here. We also have our own CDL trucks. Yeah, we keep them that up we and actually running. keep them up and running. So it's not like we have just simulators and things here. We actually do live work here. We actually do have vehicles here that run down the road every day. So that makes a big difference also. As far as um, lab work, we have for each different class we have their own lab. Um, we have our engines lab here. We have our hydraulics lab. Um, what is, what's the simulator 
for hydraulics over there? We have a simulator here for the hydraulics. We can actually have you make a hydraulic, uh, hydraulic unit. We use uh, a lot of our different cylinders. We do uh, re cylinder rebuilding over there. Um, and we can actually make them work with a lot of our different equipment that we have over there. We have hydraulic pumps and everything that we use. So um, then we go to our differential lab. We have differentials sitting there. Um, we have them on stands and we can actually take them apart and show you how they work and actually put them back together and, and adjust them how they're supposed to be adjusted and actually make them work over there. Um, also we have the engine lab. Um, we have a lot of different engines here that we use to, to uh, show you how they work. And then we go into our transmission lab. We show you how all these transmissions, we take them apart and we show you what's internally and how they actually work. Um, we do the AC and HVAC for a lot of our different uh, classes out there. And we have units here for you yeah, to actually work on. Refrigeration units Refrigeration over. units, because you're going to see that a lot in some of the industry out there when we get into you know, some of these uh, food hauling companies and things like that. So we have a lot of uh, things here that we can actually, you know, show you exactly how things work and what's involved in, you know, everything that we go through here. So, so where the diesel program started, um, when I first started, the diesel program was in the auto, back of the auto building. Um, we were crammed in the back there. Um, and just as I came on full time, we started into the diesel building where we are now. Um, it's night and day, and sometimes it seems like we're outgrowing this building. Um, we have the welding program and diesel program program down in in the uh, Wilkie building, and we grew a lot. Uh, we I think we only had two trucks compared to we have what nine in CDL now, plus the the trucks that we can work on in the shop ourselves. Um, yeah, it, it grew big, the, the whole engine lab, you know. So one of the reasons why you should come to Rosedale is for the knowledge of the instructors. Uh, Al has over 40 years experience. Um, most of the other instructors here at Rosedale, even if you don't choose diesel, we have a lot of experience here at Rosedale um, to tap into the knowledge. You, you're you're going to learn something. And it's always good to have a trade so that if something happens, you're always going to have a job. It might not be the job you want, but you're going to make money to support your family until you can get that that good job you want. Um, if something happened to us right now, we'll get a job on the way home. We can turn wrenches anywhere. Um, you can fix HVAC anywhere, electrical. Uh, the trades are out there. So you can, why you should come to Rosedale? We're all about the trades. Exactly, and the instructors here, like he said, um, they all have out in the field experience. It's not just in a lab or in a school. They actually are out in the field. They've seen all this already. Most of the stuff that we teach you is we've seen it. And you're gonna see it when you go out in the field. So it's gonna give you a little edge possibly over some of the other people out there that's trying to learn this stuff because of actual experience. Yeah, it's funny when we talk about it and we'll tell a student that you're gonna see this and they'll, they'll have it that night because they're working in the field already. It's like, that happened. Absolutely. I told, told you. <laughs> yeah. As far as uh, our employers that we have, uh, we've been here long enough. Well, I've been here long enough. I got students everywhere. Is um, some of our employers out there that uh, hell we couldn't even get into. As far as UPS, uh, Ryder, Penske, Hill International. Um, we have a very Mac. large network of employers that are looking for yeah. employees. We got students everywhere in the tri-state area. So and it's not just a couple, right? Yeah, their whole shop's full yeah. of Rosedale guys. In the tri-state area. pretty impressive. Yeah, we have in the, you know, Ohio and West Virginia, we, yeah. Have, yeah. we have students everywhere. So that, like you say, the network of employers are Maryland is vast. Yeah, just, we had a couple know. guys from Maryland. Absolutely. The employment is out there. You have to go out and get it. If you want employed, employment for diesel techs out there is absolutely there. Um, it's very hard for you not to be able to get a job out there, especially in the field today, because there's so much going on here. There's so much more diesel that we've seen over the years than there has been, especially with all the different industries around here. And also, we see the gas people. We see the gas wells out there. Um, That's starting to pick back up again, too. They're employing a lot of diesel people out there. So um, the diesel the program here puts you to where you can go out and you will 
find employment. So my, my favorite part of teaching at Rosedale, it's weird because seeing the ad online to come work at Rosedale, thinking I'm never going to get hired. I don't know if this is me. Um, never was one to talk in front of people. So I had some fears to overcome myself to come and teach. But as we give knowledge to the students, um, and I see it even more, I taught CDL for a minute, um, to, to see that I don't know anything, or in CDL, they're scared to drive a truck. I don't even know how to drive a stick. And we give you the knowledge to go out and succeed, to see that light bulb go off, and then they do succeed, and they're out in the field getting that excellent job, or driving that big truck, um, and they're excited about it. And we did that, you know what I mean? Like, I've been here for eight and a half years and every one of those places that we named, I know all them students. They'll still hit me up on my phone. Hey, Mullen, I got this problem. It was actually just last night, Randy had a guy call, Al had a guy call, and I had a guy call. Mm -hmm. Old students just to say, hey, let me run this by you. I got this problem. Well, they're out in the field. They're doing it. It's it's cool. They're making a living. And we, we help. We're a part of that. So that's pretty exciting for me. Yeah, just to be able to give these people the knowledge and the expertise to be able to go out and actually support themselves. Because we see a lot of that out there that that don't happen. So it's just one of those things that um, a lot of the students that we see here, they go out and actually make a living and do well for themselves after they leave here. Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing is the student has to come. They have to want to apply themselves they have to want to be here. Uh, one of the hardest things as an instructor, how do you teach somebody that doesn't want to be taught? Um, it's tough because they really don't want to be here. They want to do a different, something different. Uh, but the ones that come and they want to learn this, they want to strive to do good, it's awesome. You know, We watch them grow, watch them get the good job. They're out there making it. Yep. If you're looking to for a trade, it'd be a good idea to maybe come and check this out because um, we have a lot to offer you. I mean, if you want to come and spend a day here, we can actually do that. Come here and spend a day with us. You'll see what we're all about here. Yeah, come, on, come hang out with Al. <laughs> Absolutely. Come out and hang out with me. We'll have a lot of fun while we're doing it. There's no doubt about it. Then I'm going to ship you to Mullen. That's the only thing. We welcome you to come check out the diesel program. But yeah, you need, to come, you need to come check it out. If you're looking to do this, come check it out. You may be surprised at what you're going to find.